What is up, guys? I am starting something new. Welcome to my first vlog of the rebuild. Um, I'm going to explain a little later in the video in a little bit more detail why I'm even calling this the rebuild. What am I rebuilding from? Some of you may have some idea. I posted something on social media. But first and foremost, how can this help you? Um, and what am I trying to do with this? Um, it's going to help you because I think I have one of the most unique um, experiences within the industry. Um, and it's not about, you know, better or worse. I get asked all the time about who's the best coach and do you think you're the best and random things like that. I was like, how would you measure the best of someone that's just trying to help people? Um, but um, I will pat myself on the back and, and will acknowledge that I have very unique experience um, and have compiled very unique evidence um, towards what I think can help. Um, I feel like I can comfortably help anyone uh, build muscle, anyone improve what they're currently doing from if you're brand new and just starting out, you're 15 years old, um, or you're literally trying to win Olympias. Um, I've, I can very heavily relate to everything in between. Um, I'm super duper. Some of you guys might know me as the super duper nerdy guy, because I like to go down the rabbit hole with the nerd stuff. Um, but again, some of you guys might know me as someone who's literally trained, um, I think seven, eight, nine different, um, Olympia champs, um, dozens of pros, uh, professional athletes, uh, celebrities, if you include my man, Dave in that. Um, and on top of the, you know, I've had some, you know, hands-on experience working with a high level. Um, my education's a little bit more than most people are going to have from, you know, starting at university of Florida, my first job there in a the gym, working with the rec strength and conditioning program there. Um, I literally have 10 plus different certifications, the most through resistance training specialists through uh, Paul Quinn, biosignature, bioprint, PICP one, a bunch of other ones that he did. I've done curriculum through, muscle activation technique. Um, uh, what are some of the other ones? Functional anatomy seminars, NASM stuff. I've done weird stuff like WEX stuff, USAW, Ignite 360, random stuff you've never heard of, and a whole bunch of other I've, I've forgotten. Um, and I mentioned in the beginning, um, I also started just being an obsessed teenager. I mean, literally obsessed. I could do a whole nother video, and maybe I will, about my early days of literally at times working out three times a day in high school, uh, buying a bench press for my bedroom. So I literally had a bench press that took up more room in my small bedroom growing up, um, you know, than my bed did um, to obsession with everything bodybuilding, like reading and watching every single thing I could just for years and years on end. So if you're watching this, I think that's probably covered you, right? Maybe you're a nerd. Uh, maybe you're doing this for, for, for a profession. Maybe you're trying to do this, um, compete at a high level. Maybe you're just at the beginning of your journey and you're passionate, you're into it. Um, and that's honestly, that was some of my favorite, my favorite parts and still some of my favorite parts. Um, it's just all the stuff when nobody's looking, right? I mean, social media didn't exist when I started the way that it is now. And I had, you know, really, I didn't start social media until I was near, I don't even know how old, 32 years old or something. Um, so I had, I don't even know how many years that is, uh, 15, 16, 17 years of nobody looking. And that's why I was training. Um, so this is called the rebuild. I'll touch on this really briefly. If you want to look at my Instagram, I did a little bit of a longer video about it. Um, but I honestly had a pretty crappy past year and a half. Um, that's some of the reasons I've had a tough time being as consistent with some of my professional things, like just extra stuff, YouTube, things like that. Um, I was having mystery symptoms for a long period of time. I wasn't ignoring them. I was going to my doctor. Um, I have a cardiologist I see once a year just for preventative stuff, just to be healthy and safe. So luckily I had good resources when this started happening. And um, I kept having all these crazy symptoms, uh, stuff you don't want, chest tightness, pain, weird left side stuff of the body. Long story short, after getting test after test after test, and they're saying, hey, arteries are clear, you're good, which was obviously very, very good news. And having done every single test under the sun, finally with the last test uh, that I was pretty persistent to get done, turns out I have pericarditis. Um, so anyway, of all the things I could have going on, um, you know, I'm, I was glad to find that out. Um, pericarditis, it's idiopathic. They don't really know the cause. Um, it's, it's more of like a um, uh, autoimmune type thing. And it's just inflammation around the lining of the heart. Uh, so again, I'm happy that it's not a artery type thing, a clogged artery type thing or whatever. Um, but it is something that makes life a little bit uncomfortable, something I'm working back into. It causes a lot of other related things, vagus nerve stuff, autonomic nervous system stuff where I get crazy stress responses, some weird heart rate stuff time to time. So um, it was amazing to actually find a great diagnosis. Um, I have a great family friend who I'll actually ask if I can mention him in the future, who's brilliant, um, who works with, uh, specifically not saying this was for sure the cause, but a lot of people post COVID 
um, and people, a lot of people dealing with this, uh, I have like a reoccurring version of pericarditis. Um, so anyway, this video is not about that, just giving you a little bit, but I say all that because I had to take a long break from training and I'm slowly rebuilding to see what my body can tolerate because it's a related to inflammation type thing for sure. So I have to manage inflammation um, from training as a part of it. I'm doing all sorts of weird stuff with my diet, all sorts of re weird stuff to help me reset that vagus nerve because that's a big thing. That's actually where I've had the most release it, relief is doing stuff to, again, help stimulate and, and kind of um, reset Pardon my layman term, I'm, I'm not a neurologist or, or have a PhD in neuroscience or anything like that, but um, those are the things that are giving me the most relief at this point in time. Still working closely with my cardiologist. Um, so again, I'm not doing any of this stuff, just kind of on my own wing in it, uh, but it has given me a lot of really cool tools when I'm really, really being on top of my um, recovery more than most normal people will have to. Um, doing things not just to manage inflammation, but manage histamine is a new thing for me. Um, and again, doing a lot of things that, again, are related beneficially to, you know, autonomic nervous system health and uh, the type of response you want to have from that. Uh, and again, all relating to that vagus nerve thing. So I'm using some cool to tools, some cool things, some different supplements, some different diets. Um, and I'm kind of rebuilding everything. I'm having to see what I can tolerate from a cardio standpoint. I'm having to see what I can tolerate from a training standpoint. And um, like the name says, rebuild. Um, so I thought I would do something different. Um, I thought, cause I, I think about it all the time, how blessed and how lucky I am to have the profession that I do. Uh, because I, again, it's, I've had such a unique experience again, starting with, um, just being someone that was obsessed with this. You, you asked me, I told my wife this when I was probably 20, she asked me, what's your dream job? I said, my dream job is pr training pro bodybuilders. And at the time I was like, I can't have that job though. Cause Charles Glass already has it. There's only one guy that can do it. Um, and I never would have thought in a million years I could make a living helping people put on muscle. But if you're passionate about something, you work hard, here I am. Um, and I kind of skipped over the middle part, you know, right out of college, I got basically I had a, a short period of time in corporate wellness and then got right into a full-time training position. So I was working full-time as a career trainer since 22, literally working like 70, 80 hours a week, no joke, you know, 5 a.m. till 7, 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, half day, sometimes half day was a full day on Saturdays. Um, and literally training everyone from Mrs. Jones to 90 year olds to slowly working into working with my passion and competitors. Um, I managed, um, I believe three different training departments for companies, um, you know, worked up at MI40 in Tampa for a while managing, or basically the kind of the sales part overseeing training there as well too. Um, so again, personally, I've had a ton of experience professionally. I've had more exposure and experience to more bodies and more things. Um, from a continuing education, from a nerd standpoint, I've been more aggressive with it than most people. And I've competed um, and at a relatively high level for a normal person, right? So again, I've, I've won two overalls. Um, I've been to nationals twice. I had a pretty decent physique back in the day. Um, for me, for someone that honestly doesn't have great genetics for putting on muscle, I have pretty good genetics for structure. So I'm grateful for that. Um, so this video I want to cover you guys, I'm going to approach it. One, I wanted to do a vlog so I'm posting more regularly. I'm putting more videos up for you guys. I'm not getting too caught up in what should I cover and I gotta have it edited nice and I gotta coordinate with my video guy and I gotta have everyone's workouts. You know what, I'm just gonna pop up a camera and I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna go over a whole bunch of different stuff and I'm gonna let you guys in my house more. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys in on, this is my garage gym. This is where I'm gonna be doing a lot of training. Yes, I'll, I'll certainly still be training with Terrence when he's in town. I'll certainly still be training some pros, um, but a lot of my time will be spent rebuilding where I kind of started, which was just with dumbbells, barbells, the basic stuff, the, the screenshots you're going to see um, is a still of me doing a concentration curl. And and I, I picked that on purpose because I do that exercise now. And that's literally the first exercise I ever really got after, did consistently, did progressively, literally in my bedroom. I would just, I think I started with a 15 pound dumbbell. As soon as I could do like 15 reps, I'd go save up my money and buy a 20 pound dumbbell and so forth and so forth and so forth, going up to 40s, 50s, whatever, to what I'm probably doing the same weight now I was when I was 18. Um, but anyway, going through my nutrition, going through my training, going through my professional experience, um, I'm going to take it from the beginnings. Again, if you're 15 and just getting started, things that I did right, things that I would do again, things that I would change, things that I might progress, um, and then all the way up to everyone in between. So if, again, you're trying to take this to a high level or whatever, I think because of my experience, I have a unique perspective and unique offerings um, that I wanna help everybody with. And, and again, I'm gonna talk about what am I doing right now? And, and I'll talk about why that may or may not matter for anybody. Um, but again, I, it's, I've got all this stuff in my brain from 
the emotion, the passion that goes with falling in love with this stuff when I was 15. Um, I, I still have a passion and I love training in my garage by myself right now. And I've got a, I've got a brain full of training some of the most impressive bodies on earth, some of the hardest training people on planet, a brain full of a whole bunch of nerd stuff. And I'm going to sort through all of it with you guys. Talk about, again, some of the stuff that's awesome um, from passion, from emotion, from attachment, to loving the sport, to loving what it does to have control over changing your physiques, progressing workouts, getting stronger, seeing what you can actually literally be the artist, like Arnold said, like mold your physique into something awesome, to the professional, um, to the nerd, to all of it. Um, and that's the goal of these videos is really to bring you guys from everywhere, from the extremes of A to Z, from beginner to advanced, to nerd, to passion, to meathead, and uh, hopefully tie it all together. And at the same time, just do some more videos more consistently. Um, so I said, I'm gonna take in my house, I'm gonna go through some diet stuff. You guys love the diet stuff. Go through some post-workout stuff, go through some supplements, go through my morning routine. I'm gonna go through whatever. So this is where you guys come in as well too. I'm gonna stick with this for a while. So I'm gonna commit to, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a dozen videos, bare minimum dozen videos. How much I stick with this also depends on you guys. Um, so. How much are you guys commenting? How much are you guys doing the social media thing, interacting, whatever? Uh, tell me what you guys want to see. Um, and think about what I said this is about. So don't ask me like, I don't know. I don't know what I was a bad example of something. Do not ask me to do the same stuff that everybody else is doing, right? we got a YouTube full of people doing all the same stuff over and over. So keep in mind, again, just I'm just saying my experience, not bragging or anything. That's This is what I've done. This is what I've seen. This is all I've known my whole life. It's still my number one passion. It's been my only profession. So keep that in mind with what do you guys want to see? And some of it, you know, personal stuff what you want to see in my, my closet, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> so you can ask me some personal stuff. What am I doing? What do you do for this? But ask me some other questions. What do you guys want me to cover? What do you guys want me to dig into? And, um, and I'll let you guide this, uh, guide this a little bit. So look forward to some more consistent posting um, and look forward to some content that's going to be guided from you guys as well too. So um, I, I'm, I've had, I've heard you guys, I've heard a lot of guys want me to get on here again. I'll do some of my old stuff as well too. Like I said, there'll be some sessions with pros. I'll be doing some nerd stuff from time to time, trying to kick up some consistent topics again, digging into some stuff that's out there. Um, but keep in mind, this is, this is like real stuff. This isn't fluff. This isn't people talking about nerd stuff, trying to sound smart. This is again, me training in my garage me training for you know people paying me to change their physique me managing trainers who are trying to help all of them change their physique this is me trying to help people that their whole profession of living is getting on stage and doing the best that they can so this isn't fluff this isn't trying to sound smart this isn't just theory this is stuff you know in action that actually produces results and that's what i want to dig into again from every single level so let me know what you guys want to see give me some feedback in the comment section below and do the social media thing for me if you can, guys. I don't know, whatever, subscribe, share, do all that kind of stuff as well, too. And um, let's see if uh, we can do some good stuff and help you all out along the way. So that's me, out.